To get started using your application, you need to create a case in Analytics Desktop. You can do that by one of two ways. The first is to use the Streamline process from Physical Analyzer. Once Physical Analyzer launches, you can select the Open Case option. Here, you can add an extraction, and instead of examining the data in Physical Analyzer, you can use the Send to Analytics button here. Once you click on that button, you can apply a few examination tools to your extraction. You can apply various hash sets like Project Vic and known files. You can carve locations, and you can recover data from archives. Once you've finished making your selection, click on Next. Here, you can either add this extraction to an existing case in Analytics Desktop or create a brand new case. Let's create a brand new case, filling the details here. If you know the person's name, you can assign it here and give it a color. In the next step, you can select various analytical tools to run the extraction, things like watch lists and the various categories that you can apply for detecting objects in media. I just removed the categories that I didn't want to be applied on the case and I hit select. Once I click on Next, I can select the various data types that I want to be sent to Analytics. Once I'm done, I can click on Next. Once you've made your selection, Physical Analyzer is preparing the extraction to be sent to Analytics. While the case is being prepared for Analytics, you can still examine the data using Physical Analyzer. Once the case is ready, you will see a notification at the bottom right. Media analytic processes are still running. When they're done, you will see a notification that your case is ready to be investigated. Now that the case is done, we can launch Analytics Desktop. Here, we can see that the case we created using Physical Analyzer is already ready in Analytics Desktop. To begin investigating the case, we can simply press on the Start Investigation button. Once you start investigating the case, you are directed to the Timeline view. Here, you can see the chronological order of events. You can view these events either in compact mode or in an expanded view. To the left, you can see the various filters that you can apply to slice and dice the data. For example, if I want to only see chat messages in a specific time frame, in a specific language. I can apply all these filters on top of each other to narrow my results. In Analytics Desktop, you can see the data in various contextual views. For example, if I want to see all these events but in a link graph view, I can simply click on the Graph tab and see how these filters apply to the data affect the link analysis between my suspect and his various contacts. Once in the graph view, I can view what makes up this connection between the two people. Here in the chat conversation view, I can see the different messages sent between these two parties. I can clear all my filters by using the clear button or save them for later use. If I want to see geolocation information about the data from the extraction, I can simply click on the map view and see how these events look on a map. As I zoom in, I will see more precise location for these events. Once I click on an event or on a dot on the map, I can see the actual data where this location came from. In the gallery view, I can investigate the media in a certain extraction. I can see it in a chronological order, or I can switch to the category view. The category view will group together all images with objects identified by Analytics Desktop. For example, if I go into the weapons category, I can see all images that were identified as a weapon by the system. If I want to enlarge the image, I can simply click on the view button and I'm directed to the expanded view. 
For each image, if a location exists, I can see it in the minimap here to the right. I can also load similar images from the same extraction. And I can see them side by side to see if they are indeed similar. The dashboard provides me high level information about a person or an extraction. Here I can see different widgets displaying summaries of information such as top media categorized for a specific category, top searches done by the owner of the extraction, the languages used, or the applications used by the owner. I can even see extracted entities such as locations, persons, phone numbers, or email addresses. If I want to deep dive into the data to understand where this entity or application came from, I can simply use the go to button. For example, if I want to see why this person searched for this type of item, I can simply click on the go button and this exists for any type of data in the dashboard and the system will direct me to the timeline to the actual event behind that summary in the dashboard. Throughout the application, I can use the snapshot button to grab visual elements of my discovery. I can give it a name. I can add notes and I can choose whether I want to see the filters applied to get to this data. I can save the snapshot to the report builder cart and later when I build my report all the elements that I grabbed will be waiting for me there. To create a report I can simply go in the menu to the report builder and drag and drop all the items that I've snapshot into the main report area. As I investigate I can continue to edit my case details. For example I can even add more extractions to this case as I find more evidence. Here I added another person with three extractions under it. Once I click on next, I can again select the various analytical tools if I want to change something. And once I update case data, I will see an indicator showing me the progress. Once the case has finished updating, I can click on the start investigation button and the data will be updated with the added information. The other way to create a case in Analyze Desktop is through the Cases view by pressing on New Case, adding the case name, and adding information straight to Analytics Desktop. Here, you can also select the different watch lists, enable OCR, and select the different media categories to be applied for this case. Thank you for watching the Getting Started Guide.